Alright guys, today I'm bringing you a legendary item card in Borderlands 3, and in this video we'll be looking at the Maliwana SMG, known as the Cutsman. The red text on the weapon reads, Little Android Man, Born Without a Soul. And what's special about this weapon is it will always come bladed, and when you fire the weapon, much like the Queen's Head, you'll notice that after a certain distance, the projectiles that you shoot will actually split, and it will form a sort of like saber that will travel. And this is able to damage enemies and also go through them, so you'll be able to hit multiple enemies with a single shot, just because this will pass through enemies, and if you can get them to line up, then they'll be able to slice through many enemies. To get this weapon, we'll be farming the rare spawn known as Borman Nates, who could be found on the Meridian outskirts. You want to spawn in at the fast travel, grab yourself a car, drive out the tunnel, and then as you come out the tunnel, just instantly bear left. There will be a sort of ramp. Bear onto this ramp, and in front of you will be an elevator. To make it a lot easier, you can just drive up behind this elevator and then jump on top and then jump up onto the ledge above. This just saves you having to get out of your car, press a button, and then wait for the elevator to go up. You could just jump up instantly. Then head up the stairs, and if you just keep heading towards the back, there's a certain point where Bormanates will spawn in with a Firehawk animation. But like I said, he's a rare spawn, so this is only a chance to happen. But once he does spawn in, you'll be able to kill him, and he'll have a chance to drop the Cutsman. So a bit more about how this weapon shoots. It will consume two ammo per shot, which basically means with every shot, you'll shoot two bullets, per se. And over time, the distance between these pellets will grow more and more, and then as they grow apart, there'll be a sort of laser between them. Um, and then obviously, this is able to phase through enemies, deal damage as they pass through and then continue on to behind them. Obviously, with it being a Maliwan weapon, it has a charge time, so you just have to bear that in mind when you pull out this weapon and you start to fire, that it will be a second or two before you actually start to fire the weapon. The fire rate is pretty good. It's probably on par with Maliwan weapons, I'd say. With a magazine size of 20, that means you'll probably get through your clip in about 2-3 seconds, which is relatively quick for a Maliwan weapon. I think Maliwan weapons usually have magazine size between 30 and 40, so you'll definitely be getting through the ammo because you're consuming that 2 ammo per shot but the damage that you're actually doing in return makes it worth it. This gun will only come in incendiary, corrosive, and shock elements, and the elemental damage of these elements seems to be extremely high. You'd expect this from Maliwan weapons, but just in general, it seems really high. 3,000 damage per second on this particular one that I got is a lot higher than some of the other weapons that I've seen in this game. I think an average is usually between one and one and a half thousand, so 3,000 is really up there. Obviously, this makes this gun extremely good if you can up your elemental damage, especially if you have an elemental projector and you're able to inflict the element type onto yourself, you're effectively able to do that double damage, and with the cutsman, the damage is really high anyway, so you're able to get double really high damage. Other than that, even though it does come bladed, you probably won't be using the blade too much. I think this gun just has too much firing potential that you're able to do a lot more damage by firing the gun, so wasting your time with the meleeing doesn't seem to be too viable. Unless, of course, you're on an Amara build, and you've got something specced into melee, if you have to reload, and you've got an enemy in front of you, so you could just take a quick stab before you start to reload. But other than that, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe for future legendary item guides on my channel. And yeah, see you in the next video.